Hello, Pathfinders. Good morning. How are we doing? Hope we're great. Today is um 20th July 2020. Hmm. The month is almost gone, as we can see. Okay. Today in our maths, we're going to learn how to tell time in minutes past minutes past we've learned about o'clock quarter to quarter past and all those one short ones so then we're going to look at a broader view of selling time stay with me now look at this this is just a reminder when it's at 12 we say it's o'clock when the long hand is at three we say it is quarter past when it's at six we say it is half past when it's at nine we say it is Quarter two. Hope you still remember this. Okay, let's continue. Now we are going to look at minutes past. We say that the time is some minutes past an hour. When the minute hand, that's the longer hand, has moved away from 12 and is now on any other number, that is any other hour. Are you getting what I'm saying? Any other number, sorry. It can be on one, two, three. If it's on one, it's five minutes. If on two, ten minutes, and so on. Are you getting what I'm saying? I hope I'm not confusing you. Hmm? Just pay attention. Now, as the minute hand is moving away from 12 and going to other numbers, the hour hand too shifts a little bit. Here, the minute hand moves faster than the hour hand are you getting what i'm saying if you take a closer look at your analog clock you see that when the hour the minute hand has moved away from 12 and it's now either on one two three the hour hand too will not be exactly on that number let's say that it was eight o'clock and then the minute hand now shifts from from 12 which is o'clock to two now, the hour hand 2 will move a little bit from 8, just a little bit, to show you that it is now moving past that hour gradually. Did you get what I said? I hope I'm not being too fast. I hope you're grabbing it. Good. Very good. Now, let's look at this. Can you see this? Now here the minute hand has moved away from 12 and it's now on 2. And look at look at the black line, the black circular line. You see that when it's at 1, it is 5 minutes, 2, it is 10 minutes, 3, it is 15 minutes, 4, it is 20 minutes, 5, 25, 6, 30, and so on. So now it has moved away and you look at 10, it, the hour hand too has shifted a little bit slightly from 10. So here we say that the time is 10 minutes past the hour of 10. Did you get that? 10 minutes past the hour of 10. Now, let's take another look. Okay, here I explained how to give the minutes. From, from 12, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once it's on 1, we have 5 minutes. 2, we have 10 minutes. There are smaller, smaller ones. But let's concentrate more on these ones. We'll still learn about those ones. So when it's on 3, we'll say it is 15 minutes or quarter past. When it's on 4, we say it is 20 minutes. When it's on 5, we say it is 25 minutes. And so on. Did you get that? Good. Now let's look at this. Here we can see that the minute hand is um almost at eight and then the hour hand has drifted from nine and is moving to ten it has passed nine so here we say that the time is 40 minutes past the hour of nine did you get that good look at this one again can you see this good now the red hand is the hour hand, the blue hand is the minute hand. So you can see the minute hand is on 2, 10 minutes, 
than the hour hand. So here we say that the time is 10 minutes past the hour of 7. If you check that hour hand, you see it has moved away from 7 a little bit. It is no, it's no longer steady on 7. It's always steady when it's o'clock. Did you get that? Good, good, good. That's my pathfinders. That's my pathfinders. Okay, today we've come to the end of our examples, but I hope you form your own examples and show me Zonia Kacha. I know you can do it. I know you can do better than I've shown you now. All you need to do know is this, that once that our hand has moved away from 12, the minute hand, sorry, has moved away from 12, it's no longer that hour steadily. It's now moving to another hour. Did you get that? Just check the examples and then if you have any question, please do get back to me. Have a nice day. Stay blessed. Bye. Now, okay, guess, lest I forget, your classwork will be coming up soon. Thank you. Bye.